Warning, this video is intended for a mature audience. You understand? Viewer discretion is advised. Yay! <laughs> All right, this is Billy Bob Tanley here, people, and this is a request from Tell Sissy 109, and it was uploaded by Goon Gumpus, and the latest video is The Useless AI of Tales and Tales Abuse. Okay, let's check it out. Yay! Sonic 2? Tails is a useless piece of shit. I mean, he's <sighs> yeah, he kind is. of a useful. Most of the time, he's pretty fucking stupid. Unless another when player's kid, controlling him. favorite games is Sonic the Hedgehog 2, released in 1992 for the Sega Genesis. That was my introduction he to him. one of the most iconic idiots of the franchise, Miles Tails Morales. <laughs> well, it didn't introduce him, but uh, it did to most people. Uh, yeah, me. me. Yeah, this you video, too. I'm going to be basically going over how Tails AI works, how it doesn't work, yeah. and how I can abuse him. That Tails right there. Who even is Tails? Well, uh, I don't want to go into that. I'll know, let you talk about Tails. But you might not know about how he was created. Miles Tails Prowler is a two tailed fox created by Yasushi Yamaguchi to be a sidekick for Sonic. And it didn't need to happen. Only just Miles Prowler, which was a play on words of miles per hour. I know. So you push Sonic didn't need a sidekick. However, Yasushi really just wanted to stay as Miles. Eventually, so they came to make some extra money. Miles Tails Prowler. The Sega basically said fuck you and just referred to Miles as Tails in every piece of Sonic media anyway. He's just annoying man. Tails is kind of a pussy. He but is! Cow is he's really smart and makes a bunch of machines in his spare time. I don't the care, I don't like him. Met Tails basically goes like two normal foxes for bullying Tails for not being a normal I forgot fox this and having two Tails is a fucking freak. Basically Sonic How was he born with two Tails though? Uh, Tails admires Sonic for that and just clings onto him without consent. Uh, now that you know who Tails is, even when Sonic gets older. Game. His first appearance was in a shitty version of Sonic 2 on the Game Gear and Master System. I which played is actually that. a completely different game, and for some reason, the Genesis version of Sonic 2 is still just called Sonic 2, even though it should be Sonic 3, but it's not really Sonic 3, it's Sonic 2. Yeah, that's confusing Sonic 2 as on fuck. Game Gear and Master System, it's not even a shit game. I miss but Sonic. It's just 2. completely different. I don't know why the fuck they're both called Sonic 2, and it's, it's really stupid, and I hate saying it. It's like Sparkster and the Rocket Knight Adventures. Genesis in this video, or the second Sparks for really Super Nintendo. Fuck about the Game Gear one, anyway. No. In Sonic 2, Tails functions as basically a useless idiot who follows you around the whole game. He gets you Let's killed. the two-player mode where the second person can actually control Tails, but... They get left relevant. behind. So what does Tails even do? I used to have two controllers well, on, Ironically, you know, the thing players. is, he has two Tails because he's a disabled freak, and he can use those <laughs> to spin around, Fuck. and he can fly with it. Great, but what does he do in-game? Tails' basic functions are just to collect rings that Sonic either missed or can't reach. Ugh. Tails will only get rings if they're within a few pixels, so he's not really just going to fly up somewhere and get them. He's uh, he's he's, he's, a, he's had his, I can't even talk. He has he's immortality. A so he's he a dick too. Tails can also kill enemies, however. Sometimes it just doesn't have your work. voice. If you're climbing up somewhere and there's an enemy right ahead, Tails should kill it. But uh, you know, depends on, stupid how feeling, depends on the weather, I guess. And sometimes he's a cunt, and he just won't kill it. He doesn't <laughs> fucking do anything. He just watches you die. I know. He just follows what you do. Copies you. He's still a pussy. If Tails runs into an enemy, he'll just get knocked down and get back up. But he's still scared, so he won't even kill the enemy. Look at that shit. Now, yeah. Fuck, does Tails just fall off the map and then all Useless. of a sudden he's flying down a few seconds later? Unless another player's controlling. This is kind of explained in Sonic Adventure One, because when you play as Tails, you can just kind of go into the map and still fly up. But I mean, Wild. he could figure that out anyway. I just want to know how he does it when he should be fucking dead. He should be. Now that I think about he has, it, Tails like has I said, he has immortality. A character in Sonic 2. He's immortal, but he still won't fucking do anything. Yeah, he Tails is immortal. tries to help, however, sometimes he miserably fails. During boss he's fights, a failure. Tails can be helpful by sometimes jumping at the boss and doing damage. Easiest boss. However, he's useless. So sometimes he jumps at the wrong time, which just knocks him down. He's got me killed on the second boss fight. His AI will just here. randomly spin dash at times, like. What's the fucking point, man? You didn't have to do that. Just For someone useless. named Miles Per Hour, he has trouble keeping up. One of the dumbest things is that when you're going fast, so Sonic didn't need this sack. Fucking point of the game. It's holding him back. Tails will just fall off the map because he's an unaware idiot. Yeah, so see, every Sonic time. Two, Tails basically. Guess what the fuck are you doing? The map, getting knocked down, doing <laughs> jack shit. 
He's occasionally useful when he can collect rings, when he feels like killing enemies, or deals extra damage to He's the just boss standing fights. there! And speaking of boss fights, one of Tails' top one useless moments is during the end of Sonic 2. In Wing Fortress Zone, Tails decides to actually be Oh useful. yeah! He gets his plane that he built all by himself. You never see him again. There. But apparently, someone smart enough to build a plane doesn't have the awareness to see a giant fucking laser coming Yeah, he's at him, stupid So fuck. instead he crashes and spends his time- At least you get to be alone for a minute. Work. Great. Once you get to Death Egg Zone, you fight the two most challenging bosses in the whole game. Yeah. And so one time it would have actually been Tough. helpful to have Tails do the extra damage. And Tails doesn't just affect no. you in-game, he affects you in real life. One time, <laughs> I was playing Sonic 2, and Tails was as useless as ever. I was alone in my room, so I thought no one would hear me. I was a little kid, and I said, Fuck you, Tails. But my what dad just fuck? happened to be outside my room, and I couldn't be on my console for the rest of the day. Oh, so, shit. Yeah, fuck Tails. He ruins everything. And also, he does. I like my games difficult, but the boss fights for any casual player still would have been helpful to have Tails. Tails gets in the way, man. How could he be more useless? What the fuck? <sighs> So you might be thinking, wow, how could Tails be more useless? Well, in the original part <sighs> of the game, it was It's not just he's useless in the games, he's fucking cringe in these videos. Yeah, what the fuck? Especially what the fucking furry community's done to him. Idea. Tails is already him shipping him and Sonic and all this shit. They want to make him even more of a cunt and cost Sonic his rings for doing so? What game is this? Thankfully, the developers uh -huh. took their meds. And it looks like Sonic too, but... them to realize, hey, that's fucking stupid. We should remove that. Yeah, remove Tails. Now, I wanted to mention the audacity of Tails' idle animation. Sonic's idle animation is like him getting bored, tapping his feet, checking his watch, wanting to go on with the adventure because he's such a courageous hero. Yeah, I remember that. But Tails, on the other hand, stands there and yawns. Like he's he's opened up his mouth. Tired you know why, too. Don't Tails. ask. Doing nothing. Oh! Being a useless cunt. Wow. What a joke. Uh, fuck. Now, I swear Tails is even more useless than Sonic 3, and it doesn't Why take long for him to be useless. Literally 30 seconds into go. my gameplay, I was in Angel Island Zone, and Tails kept spin dashing into this fucking spring. Like, hey, Tails, yeah. if it didn't work the first time, it's not going to work uh, the other five times. You're yeah. telling me this guy can this is all you need to say about him. He can just fucking fly, and not even that, he can just jump. <laughs> Jesus Christ, look at him. I think Sonic picked him up for the middle of Asylum. That's what I really think. I don't know why. Or he tells Tails escape. Tails might seem useless in the But wait till you hear what he does in Sonic Adventure 1. Nothing. That's right, nothing. He is playing as Sonic, Tails will occasionally follow you in some levels, just like in Sonic 2 and 3. But this and time, he's useless he doesn't here rings, kill enemies. He's the most useless he's ever been. Then why is he in here? Like, there is no reason. I mean, when you're playing as Tails in Adventure 1, Get rid of that two-tailed piece of shit. Special, but when you're playing as Sonic, he just does jack shit. Uh. Even worse than the classic games. Sega must have realized That's... that Tails is useless. Because in yeah, Sonic but they keep in there because stupid people keep whining. Levels. We want Tails in the game! Like Tails and Eggman levels, but I think they're pretty great. The running gun levels I hate where you play in Tails' mech suit, it's pretty fun. In the mobile port of Ugh. Sonic 2, Christian Whitehead decided to make Tails a bit more useful by allowing Tails to fly and carry Sonic. Wait, what's Just like this? you can in the original two-player mode. But this time, I never you're doing single-player mode. Whatever right. this is. It's a good improvement, but the AI is still as shit as ever. With the mobile ports, though, also came the option to just play as Sonic does not need a so fucking a Tails partner. Fan, you can actually enjoy his presence in the classic games. But why is Tails in Sonic CD? He wasn't canonically know. a character yet. He wasn't introduced, so why is Eggman going after him? That I makes don't sense. know. Oh, well. At least I can play my favorite classic game as my favorite classic character. Everybody overrates the shit out of Sonic yeah, CD At the end of the reason. day, Tails is just a cute, lovable character. And this video is mostly a joke. He's a 30 year old something man in a boy's well, body. This far into the video, I just Fox want to say thanks, body. and if you want to see more content like this, consider subscribing. Burn that fucking Tails plug. It's about Tails. It's a nightmare. So here's me abusing the fuck out of Tails. Yeah, you should. No one likes him. Real people don't like him. What the fuck? See how you. What, what, what'd you do to him? Oh, debug mode. Okay. And that's what you did. Trap Tails in there. Yeah, he, he just keeps dying. And, Wow. See, he can't, he can't completely die. He comes back. I think he gathered the Dragon Balls and wished for immortality. That's, a, that's exactly what happened. Yep, debug mode. You can have fun with that. Man, makes people play Sonic too. <sighs> Look how useless he is. In that stage too, did he go super? What the fuck? 
All right. Is there anything else going to happen? Okay. We're just seeing Tails get abused with these things. That's the Death Egg robot. Oh, he's going to crush him. But, oh, he did. I was expecting all those things to crush. There's those little shits he releases. So there you go, everyone. If y'all want to watch the original video, the link is in the description. Go check it out and shit. I'm getting the fuck out here, so yeah, yeah. My name is Billy Bob Tanley, and I approve this message.